Hey, happy day in San Francisco. There's the gay men's choir. <laughs> Who knew? I guess they sing about stuff. Hey, and they're mostly those singing about their agenda. They want to convert everybody to homosexuality. And they say it. They say, you will barely notice when we convert your children because we're working on it. We have a gay agenda. Ha, okay then. Well, it's a good thing we have gay month, right? Pretty soon it'll be gay season uh, when y'all only have a birthday one day, Christmas one day, gay stuff almost every day. There is a conversion thing going on, no doubt about that. Remember this, you are what you eat. Hey, stay away from fruit salad. <laughs> Just saying. You know what? It's hot everywhere in the country, and I'm in Canada. I came here from California for three months so I could be up here where it's nice and cool, right? Well, in British Columbia, Canada, where I am as we speak, it's been hot. And the other day it was 113 above. And in Palm Springs, California, where I left, it was 103. Figure that one, wow, but it has been up to 120 there, and that's just hot as a firecracker. I'm glad I'm not there for that. Anyway, so I'm in Canada, so I'm thinking Canada, so I got a bunch of Canada stuff for you all today. It doesn't matter where you live in the entire world, right? I mean, y'all got to pay attention to this because there's good stuff. It could be coming to a country near you because socialism is at work. At least in the U.S. today, socialism is creeping, maybe racing, but there is a constitution, there is a Supreme Court. Whereas in Canada, they don't have any of that. That stuff. I mean, it's really a dictatorship because the prime minister has all kinds of power. Kind of hard to believe, but it's a spin-off a little bit from the queen and king stuff out of England. And, and the prime mistake, again, the, the one that's there now, he thinks he's the king. And it, well, actually, he would be the queen. And, and he actually he acts like it all of the time. Trudeau, you know, he's more focused on helping his friends and family. And you've got to look at all of these people's bank accounts where this COVID business is over. I mean, wow, billions and billions of dollars, I would bet are stacked up in a whole bunch of bank accounts that ethically they shouldn't be there. You know, and then you have Aaron O'Toole, the leader of the Conservative Party, and, and there's hope in that word, conservative, I understand that, but, but, but he doesn't give much hope. <laughs> he says, grassroots people, y'all gotta vote for me because I can help lead us out of the wilderness, and I don't think so, because he doesn't say anything to kind of make that happen. For instance, he needs to really work Western Canada. That's where all the votes come from. That's where the money comes from. But he alienates him. He always does things that the liberals do. It's amazing. And now he says this, though. He says, hey, you know what? I'm going to revamp the country's fiscal stabilization program. I'd never heard of that before. There's a lot of unstable people in Ottawa. But he says, I'm going to fix this. And it's a first step to end the mistreatment of Western Canadians. A conservative government will ensure that Western Canadians are treated equally in our confederation. He never said that before. And even if he has, he hasn't meant it. And now he's saying, hey, the stabilization program is a program to help with regard to equalization, right? Because Alberta pays billions of dollars to the East, and, and they don't get anything in return except grief. It kicks in the head, right? Wrong. Not right. Left. That would be it. Anyway, he doesn't have that ability to do that. He's trying to say something that doesn't exist because equalization is actually written into the Canadian Constitution. They do have one, but, but it's, it's different. It's a different piece of paper than the American one. So anyway, it's all fluff. The price of gas. But just talking here about countries. Let's go to free enterprise and maybe not so free. In British Columbia, Canada, you got NDP, which is code for communist. And, and in Texas, of course, you have the extreme opposite of that. So, you know, you have to take a bunch of things into account here. But in Texas, it's $2.60 a gallon of gas, more or less, right? In Canada, it equals close to $7 a gallon in some places. So, you know what, it's $80, maybe $90 a tank difference. So when you go to fill up, that's a big head. And, and that's right versus left. That's right versus wrong. I got a note here from a guy. We get a lot of emails. And Rick, right, Rick in our office, he reads most of them. And I do read some of them because he passes them over to me. And here's one from a guy. His name is Roy. Roy, thanks so much for writing. He said, hey, Brian, thank you for speaking out about the purported Chinese troop buildup in Canada's north. I'm hoping it will make people talk about it. There may be even an investigation. And on and on he goes in again. Thank you. And I hope there is an investigation. Roy, you and other people, call your members of parliament, your MLAs, call the Pope, get somebody with authority to get out there and look. Take cameras with you like it's a couple of hours out of their life and they get paid big money from you. Harass these people. You need somebody that's got that kind of credibility of the cameras beside and behind them to go out and get the job done. 
Trudeau, the prime mistake. There's this first time buyer incentive in Canada, which I just heard about the other day. It's another communist thing. Communism creeps along, right? And then it gets to the kind of the end and it rushes and that's what's going on there now. They have a, a deal that if you buy a house under $500,000 and many people are offering $499,999.99. And they get approved, right? And what it is, is, is that the land transfer tax, you get a rebate, you get this, you get that. You qualify for shared equity incentives, which means the government ends up being your partner in your house. Wow. I mean, ha, Soviet Union. I, and people are buying into this because it allows them to get into the housing market. It's escalating quickly and they say, hey, I can get in now. I'll bring them in as a partner. Nah, it's just a little bit. They only want 20 or 30% or whatever it is. But that will grow. It's like uncontrolled. People say, you know, what's a big deal if you let them do this? It's creeping because if you give them an inch, they always take a mile. That's a bully. If, if you kind of cower to a bully, he pushes you harder. You got to smack him. That's just what you all got to do. The Liberal government now, under the prime mistake, he's getting ready for an election. He's saying, hey, anyone over 75 will receive $500 during the week of August 16th in 2021. Okay, so now the election's called, liberal people are all doing the door knocking and say, oh, hi, you look like you're 75. Did you get your check? Oh, yeah, well, vote for us. And many people will. Bribery with your own money. That's not very nice. On a lighter note, hey, got lighter stuff. I went to the Calgary Stampede the very first day, just the other day. It was very subdued compared to other years, right? I went to the pancake breakfast down at the Western Hotel and there was me and four or five other people. It was, it was, it was sad. And, and I didn't see a cowboy hat until I looked in the mirror and, and got downtown. The airport, you know, was a dead issue. And I went to the Delta Hotel thinking I'd have a cup of coffee. Closed and weeds growing up in the parking lot and it's attached to the to the uh, airport. So, so it was a little depressing. Maybe the grounds were better. I don't know that. But then the very next day, I went to Drayton Valley, Alberta, to a barbecue, and that kind of gave me the lift. And it was the Wild Rose Party, uh, Independent Party of Alberta, who wants to get away from all the nonsense that I've been talking about. They're saying, hey, we're the same size as Texas. They are, in terms of the mileage and stuff. And we've only got four and a half million people. We want to be the model of freedom. And they're pushing for that, and I'm pushing with them because I hope they win. I think they can win, actually, and the election is coming up in a year and a half. A little longer, but not much longer. And they got all kinds of interesting policies. they got to have a good leader, Paul Hinman, who's being, I think, sworn in, as it were, today or tomorrow. And Paul's agreed to come on this show as my guest, and, and look, I look forward to that. You should, too. He'll be on here in a few days. So stand by, come back, have a happy day, have a happy life. See ya.